Hi there, YouTube. It is I, the one, the only, <laughs> Nadia Exotica. I have some Indian temple incense here. I need to light it. And it is like muggy and hot out, but I really don't give a shit. I need to light this incense. Today's been a very weird day, and of course that didn't work. Look at my cute little torch. I'm obsessed with gas station lighters for no reason at all. Um been a day and it's actually kind of starting to cool off look at these fucking nails um and also these what was that was that a firework this crimped body wave i mean really can can we get into it um i have to rant i'm gonna rant okay so emotionally prepare yourselves if you don't want to hear a rant click off <laughs> i'm giving you permission to click off this video um, today was weird and it even started off very weird. I mean, for starters, I am running off of three hours of sleep, technically kind of maybe four, because I took an hour long nap. Um, but I had to be up very early and it's just like, ugh. While I was in bed, also I'm waiting for my friend to, she's just got off work and she's gonna swing by and we're gonna chit chat for a little. Um, but... I was in bed getting like kind of dozing off and I hear the the email notification alarm or whatever um and it was saying that and I'm not saying these two incidences are related at all I don't think so um but it was saying that my Microsoft account was being logged into in Brazil or something I don't know then when I look at recent activities apparently my account was try attempted there was a, a couple different attempted logins, one from Germany, one from Brazil, and another other one, Uruguay, I don't remember. Um, so I did the two-step authentication thing, I did the linking your phone to it, all this stuff, and I realized like, I obviously don't want this compromised, I use Skype a whole lot, so, and Skype is linked to Microsoft. So that situation was all squared away. It was fine and dandy. And then, I, again, I had to be up early. Um, and I had to be out the door practically right when I woke up. So I, when I woke up, I, I woke up to a Snapchat of the message. Like there was this guy saying that, well, first he asked me, he's like, do you use Grindr? And I was like, I'm assuming he wanted to add me or something. I don't know if you can add people on there. Um, but so I was kind of annoyed because I'm like, I need to go. <laughs> I have somewhere to be. But um, I responded. I'm like, no, like very short. No. <laughs> um, and then this person said that um, my pictures were being used and that they were sending a South San Francisco address to people. I mean, fuck me, man. Um, I thought that was kind of crazy. And because I was running off at three hours of sleep, I didn't think to be like, can you please block them? All I said back was scam. <laughs> That's all I said. Um, and then I tweeted about it later on in the morning. But um, I didn't even think to be like, do you mind reporting that for me? <laughs> so um, the more I think on it, the more I'm like, obviously there could be like three different things happening. Number one, he could be the one using my pho my photos. Although I try to have like, I don't know, a, I try to kind of like navigate situations like these by giving people the benefit of the doubt sometimes, but I'm also very still skeptical. Or two, no one's using my photos and he kind of wanted to there's a possibility of him just wanting to kind of get in good with me, I guess, by letting me know. And then the third option is that there's actually some bored, whack-ass bitch out there actually genuinely using my photos. <laughs> um, for Grindr, no less. I've never been on Grindr, I, I, so I don't know how it works. I don't know if you have friends on there. I, for what I know, from what I know, it's like a hookup app, right? So also, why would you try to catfish on there? I mean, I don't really even want to know because there, there's so many crazy possibilities. But like, if the purpose is hooking up and you're catfishing, so that brings me to the point of like, if someone's trying to extort money or like scam, that's when I have a problem. Um, 
genuinely. But if you're just trying to get laid, then I'm like, well, I guess it's really not my problem, right? But I just don't know. I'm like, part of me, I've had something like this happen before. Ironically enough, it was on a Skype account. And it was someone that I was playing WoW with a long time ago. I had like a group of friends on World of Warcraft and this person made fake everything of me to try and sabotage, I guess, my friendships with these people on World of Warcraft. And at least with Skype back in the day, I it was just took a, a email to them that someone's imitating me and they they took action. Whereas like now I'm kind of thinking like, I don't quite know what to do. I have two friends that I could think of who could probably download the app and see if there is like a page, you know? I could also message the guy again and be like, can you screenshot and report? <clears throat> but I just don't know to the, what extent, like it makes, it creeps me out knowing that someone's giving away an address. To me, that's a red flag. Like even on any, on Tinder, anything like that, like first and foremost, I've never just shown up at an address when I'm trying to meet up with someone. It's always been like, meet me at this public place. It's never going straight to someone's house. That's crazy to me. That actually seems crazy to me. So, but I just don't really know kind of where to turn. And part of me wants to, like, it's really genuinely not my fucking problem, truthfully. Um... But at the same time, I don't like the idea of someone getting bamboozled with my imagery. You know, I don't reside in San Fran. Um, San Francisco is like an hour and some minutes away from me, probably like 20 minutes away. And I'm, I don't use Grindr. <laughs> like, what do I do here? Um, if I were to reach out to them, I should have tweeted at them too, because I find that in predicaments like these, people tweet, they tweet back at me quite quickly. <laughs> I've had um, Beyond Meat tweet back to me. I've had YouTube like very lickety split tweet back to me. A bunch of different kind of companies tweet back very quickly, which is cool. And so now I'm like, do I email or do I tweet? Or both, I guess, I could do both. Um, but I don't really quite know how to navigate predicaments like these, it's a very weird thing. Um, and then also I don't know that if I do ask this person about it, if they're going to be truthful. I don't know. I barely spoke to this person. So I don't quite know what to do. I've seen enough catfish episodes to know that like usually people are getting scammed, right? So like, but, but the reason why I have no sympathy, truthfully, if you're getting bamboozled, like obviously no parties, if you're catfishing, you're a fucking loser. That's first and foremost, you're a loser, you're whack. Um, but two, the other person getting bamboozled, I feel like there's, we know enough now about technology, about um, reverse Google image searching, about all that shit, looking people up to where there should be no excuse. Like, come on, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't care how legitimate they might seem. It's just, use your brain, please, please. Um, and again, I think that the takeaway from this is too, is don't meet up with people at an address, like at a house. That's fucking crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I don't care what you say. I've never been desperate enough to go to someone's dwelling <laughs> after they send their, me their address. That's weird, that's weird. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Today was just a weird ass day. I do want to point out, I'm referencing dating apps, hookup apps. I've never gone to someone's house after talking with them on one of these apps. When I was escorting, very rarely would I ever do any sort of out call for one. For two, there's money, right? That's the incentive. And any out calls were usually either if not out in public on a date at a hotel so <laughs> I don't just go to people's houses um no thanks and then when I would go out and meet with like a hookup or whatever for the first time I would say go like you know meet me at this one spot and it would usually be a public place and I'd sit there and chat with them first you know I don't know it's just so weird <laughs> and to me it's really unsettling that someone would just go to somebody's fucking address <laughs> off of something like Grinder. It's just crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Please just be safe out there. What the fuck?
Oh my god. Anyways, I did just have to say that, okay? Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> okay, back to the video. Um, and that's just bizarre. I'd like to think that no, no one's doing some bullshit like that, but you never know. It's the internet, right? Back in the day when someone made a fake Skype, they I wasn't on the internet like how I am now. So um, it didn't really matter much to me, but now that I am, I'm like... Can we not do this shit? If you don't have the balls to show your fucking face um, on a dating or hookup app, then don't use one. Don't genuinely do not use one. I don't care. I don't give a shit what you may think. If you advocate for catfishes, I could give a shit less. I don't care. Um, I think that's complete loser behavior to be doing some shit like that. So. And obviously I'm not held responsible for what happens if you're stupid and gullible enough to fall for shit like this. Because obviously I, that's not my account. Like, what the hell? So, like, oh my god. See, and this is why, like, this is one of the reasons why, too, I steered clear of, like, all of those um, dating apps. To sum it up, Tinder and Bumble were the two ones. Is because, like, I got reported for being a fake person. <laughs> I lost hope. Like, even, like, I'm not catfishing, but I'm being accused of it. Like, it's just like, I can't win here. It's like, <laughs> like, when or if I use these apps, I can't win. And when I'm not, I also can't win. It's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. So, I don't know. If you're out there catfishing, you're a loser. Maybe knock the shit off, truthfully. Um... I can't, I can't stand that. I'm going to email them. I'm going to email them. I'm going to talk to my homegirl right now. She's going to pick me up. We're going to get munchies. I'm going to confide in her about all this stuff. And I'm going to email. I think I'm going to email Grinder. <laughs> and I'll keep my YouTube in the loop, right? Why not? So, I hope this was entertaining at the very least. Like, what the fuck? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video requests, feel free to email me. My email is NadiaExotica at gmail.com. Follow all my links at NadiaExotica.com. And also don't forget to read my blog, which is NadiasCuriotrove.com. Um, and you know what that just made me think of too? It's like I watermark all of my photos. Like all of my photos are watermarked. So. I don't know, I don't know the extent of, it's just driving me kind of nuts. Like, if it's watermarked, then people would know to go navigate to my website. I don't know, unless it's a screenshot from YouTube or something. Anyway, until the next video, you will be hearing from me very, very soon.